The new age of dragons shall begin. of years ago, when our world was young. Azeroth was home to the ancestors of dragons. Primitive beasts ruled by primal instincts. Yet, there were a few in whom the spark of intelligence was lit. Who thought, spoke, and felt more deeply than the rest. What does this have to do with me? Were it not for them, your people would not be. From these proto-dragons, there arose the monster, Galakrond. Whose insatiable hunger would have consumed us all.
when the fate of our kind was at stake, we five overcame the instincts of fear and self-preservation and united to battle the Leviathan. We? So, you were one of these. bravery, risking everything to save the world, we were granted a gift of the Titans, transformed into something greater. Together, we became the Aspects, leaders of the Dragon Flights. The Protectors of Azeroth. In time, we took on visages like this to better commune with the younger races. Why have you shown me this? I am Nosdormu. I was Aspect of the Bronze Flight. It is my fate to see all of time, but now a threat to our world approaches. An ancient enemy has returned. You will play a part in the events to come, and you will have to make a difficult choice, as we did. I am not like you. No. My story is already written, but yours and that of all Drakthir is only beginning to un- Talent to the fore! Stick! On the flight! Boom! Ah! Heaven scale! Fall back! Fresh. Can you bring down this barrier? Zuri! Just the reinforcements I needed! Have you found the Earth Warder? No. He is not in this chamber. But there is a. A different dragon. Come forth, loyal servants of Malagos! Show no mercy to these aberrations! Well, this should be fun! speak of unleashing a storm. The threat is greater than you know, young ones. We fear these primalists seek to release something ancient. Something terrible. Why should we trust you? Were you sent by the Earth Warder? 
Where is Neltharion? Neltharion? It seems there is much you do not know. I am Abyssian, and this is Rathion. We will answer all your questions in time. But we must join forces and strike now, or the enemy will prevail. This is our home. The Drakthir will defend it. We will fight beside you, but you do not give the orders here, dragons. So be it. Fine. But do try not to get in our way. After all, I know a thing or two about vanquishing ancient adversaries. Death heralds great danger for this world, just as your awakening heralds great change. The kingdoms of Azeroth must be warned. Go to them. Along the way, you may discover a new destiny of your own. Dark Talons, fall in! We have to leave the Reach. Lead the way, Abyssian. The warders will follow Rathian. Children of Neltharion, you have awakened to face a shattered past and an uncertain future. Yet the threads of fate weave a new path to distant shores. The sands of time will speed your wings along the way. Tell the world of what you have witnessed, and warn them of the storm to come. Behold, Stormwind! 
capital of the human kingdom and crown jewel of the Alliance. Ruled by a dear, dear friend who is sadly absent. Impressive walls. This city could withstand attack by a formidable adversary. Perhaps even a dragon. You have no idea. Now then, to make a proper entrance, pardon me while I assume a more recognizable form. Ah, yes. The Earth Warder, too, had a visage. So these humans know you? Indeed. I have no doubt they will welcome me with open arms. Rathion, you were warned against making unannounced visits, especially when you bring company. A thousand pardons, my dear Spymaster, but I come bearing the tidings of the Dragon Aspects for Lord Commander Torellian. As for the Drakthir, you have my word that they will cause no harm. They have come seeking refuge, not conflict. Their conduct will be on your head, Rathion. The Drakthir have my leave to roam the city. But know this, SI-7 will be watching. Let them pass! I am pleased that you have accepted our invitation to the Dragon Isles, Lord Commander. During the dark days of the Cataclysm, the Aspects made great sacrifices to save our world. The Alliance will answer the call and stand together with Dragonkind once again. Alexstrasza shall be most appreciative. Though, she will insist that you do not bring any lingering conflicts to her shores. You have my word that this will be an expedition, not a military maneuver. To honor our truce with the Horde, I have instructed the Explorers League to work in concert with the Reliquary. Just think of all the ancient knowledge we can discover together! The Dragon Isles is our home, not a place for outsiders to plunder. The Drakthir will accompany the Alliance on this journey, but it will take time to build trust between us. <laughs> As a fellow soldier, I share your wariness, Azurathel. Splendid! You two have found common ground already. Now then, let us begin preparations for our voyage. The Dragon Isles await. The Aspects will be pleased that the Council has accepted their invitation. The Dragon Isles hold great wonders and many perils. Those who answer the call will face whatever challenges may come. The strength of the Horde has always been its people. I am heartened to hear it. But... Know that the Dragon Queen will not abide conflict on her shores. The Horde honors its truce with the Alliance. To that end, the Reliquary will work together with the Explorers League on an expedition of discovery. I expect we will learn much from one another. Do not forget, Ibisian, that the Dragon Isles are home to the Drakthir as well. We intend to rediscover our past, and lay claim to our future. Then let our peoples make this journey together, Sindrathresh. Agreed. Along the way, we can hone your combat skills, despite your obvious lack of wings. I see there is much work ahead of us. Come then, the Dragon Isles await. I did not expect to see you again so soon, my friend, after you'd answered the call of the Isles. Something has happened, Khadkar. Something terrible. Galakos, tell me. It all happened so quickly, 
and Rathian, young as he is, bravely or perhaps foolishly tried to stop it. But he was too late. The Tempest had already been unleashed. She let me live with a message. They are coming to cleanse the world of the Titan's stain. Alexstrasza, who is she? What is she? She is Razagath, youngest of the primal incarnates. Incarnates? For dangerous adherents of the elemental forces. At the dawn of the Aspects, our flights embraced the Titan's gifts. They did not. The war that followed was unimaginable, and it took all of our strength combined to banish them. If they were so dangerous, why were they not destroyed? I hadn't the heart to do it. We were once as clutchmates. Time, it seems, has not quelled their fury. And look at us. Should she free her kin now, we haven't the strength to stop them. And if Iridicrum's hunger is unleashed... Then we have no choice. If we are to be protectors once more, the aspects of our dragonflights must be made anew. A storm. Another war. There is still time to see reason. Time is precisely what you stole from me. Thousands of years rotting in that prison. I failed then to restore peace between us. Too many paid for that. Spare me your sanctimony. You forced the Titans' edict upon us all. You betrayed the world that gave us life. And when we dared resist, you cast us out. Never again! on the wrong side. She never told you the suffering they inflicted upon us. The insult of being forgotten. I want her to watch helplessly as everything she built comes crumbling down. Only then will she meet a fitting end. 
Rathian, you have my gratitude. Your aid was unexpected, but appreciated. It was an honor to stand with you, my queen. I trust your flight will now assist us in claiming the Obsidian Citadel from the Jaradin. Of course we will, after we see to the safety of the eggs. Surely they are secure now that Razageth has been driven away. Oh, you do not know her as I do, young one. She is an unpredictable foe. For now, we must remain at the life pools and safeguard our future. Our future? Or yours? The Obsidian Citadel was built to defend all of the Dragon Isles. You cannot abandon the legacy of my flight to the hands of our enemies. I would have expected you to care more for the protection of helpless eggs, Rathian. Stay then. Tend to what matters most to your flight, and I will save what matters most to mine. The convoy yielded enough eggs to begin. Go now. Infuse them with the elements. Wash away the stain of order. Work quickly. Outsiders have come ashore. We cannot let them interfere. But what brings you here so urgently? What has happened to this egg? The energies that surround it are... This is dire. If the egg can be saved, it will be here, within the sacred waters of the life pools. Once the young of Dragonkind filled this vibrant place. And the Ruby Oathstone, the very symbol of our calling, cast its bright glow high into the air for all to see. Now it lies dormant, as do all the Oathstones. I suspect they fell quiet when we relinquished our aspectral power. There are so many things we left behind. But now that we have come home, we can fulfill the callings of our flights and renew the five Oath Stones. And through their unity, our absent power shall be restored. Emberthal. A commander of the Drakthir. You know of us. You are a race of fierce warriors, unlike anything Azeroth has seen in many an age. In time, you may become as mighty as we once were. Once? What happened? The desire for power carries peril. We were blind to the darkness in our midst. Behold, the Dragon Isles. In the time after our ascension, we Aspects sought to create a beacon of hope for all the world. Beautiful. Notharian, my general. Indeed, we all had our roles to play. Guided by Alex Strasser, our conscience, our heart, we all became as close as clutchmates, or so it seemed. For we could not hear the whispers of corruption that tempted one of our own. When demons invaded our world, 
We Aspects went forth to protect it, as we always had. Not knowing whether we would ever again see the shores of home. Our brother Naltharion led our defense against the invaders. But for the first time, we found our strength inadequate, and we grew desperate. So when Neltharion assured us that with our help he could forge a weapon to win the war, we placed our trust in him. And we renewed our battle against the demons, only to have Neltharion, who now took the name Deathwing, turn on his own kind. We could not foresee this betrayal, for we simply did not want to believe. Even after all this time, the pain of his treachery is far worse than the scars he left us with. That is not the leader I remember. How do I know it was not you who provoked him? You missed much during your confinement, but the sands of time reveal all truths, child, even bitter ones. Trust your eyes. When the champions of Azeroth faced Deathwing for the last time, he was so consumed by madness that he could not imagine what we would sacrifice to stop him. That the weapon we had helped him forge would become the means of his destruction. Was there no other way? Deathwing would have destroyed this world. To stop him, we Aspects relinquished our power, our immortality, our guardianship of Azeroth itself. A fair trade, I believe. You want something from me, don't you? It is my gift and my burden to travel the pathways of time. But there is one crucial moment that has long remained hidden from me. And only you can lead me there. A Titan artifact? That must be the source of your unity. This was an ancient magic that bound you to his will. Would you not sacrifice yourselves at his whim? We were soldiers. There were many threats to the world. And here was the greatest. The Primalists. That is Razageth, the Storm Eater. One of the leaders of the Primalist Rebellion. He struck without warning, without honor. And I lost many friends this day. We fell back, regrouped. Then, everything became jumbled, confused. The artifact destroyed, and the order magic which had united the Drakthir was dispelled. How then was Razageth defeated? Why 
were we imprisoned? Why did we sleep for so long? If he could no longer control the Drakthir, he would have deemed you a risk. No. We laid down our lives for him. He was proud of us. Why would he... Stop this sand! I cannot see! Because you do not want to. Yet you can only become more than you are if you confront your past. away. Forgot we even existed. It would have been kinder to simply destroy us. I am sorry, my young friend. We had to know the truth. But do not despair. I now believe that Neltharion locked you away because of what you might become. What we might achieve free of his control. And now, you are free. This world has much to offer, and you will have a part to play in the events to come. You spoke of an ancient enemy's return. It is Razageth and the Primalists. That is why we were awakened. It seems that Neltharion yet had a purpose for you, but he is gone. You must decide which path you will take, which story you will tell. My story will be my own. Sibelian, heir of Neltharion. And you are? Rathian, heir of Neltharion. And I've never heard of you. Likewise. We'll discuss this later. Mistaken. This throne, this legacy, is my birthright. Ah, no. The mistake is yours. I was anointed caretaker of this flight by Neltharion himself. So let me be clear. 
when all is said and done, I will be the aspect of the Black Dragon Flight. Is that so? <laughs> May the worthiest dragon win. At long last, our absent young are once more among us, so that they can be raised together with all the flights. Though these life pools were once bereft of eggs, they now contain our future. Truly, the calling of my flight has been fulfilled. I will see that these eggs are protected and loved, so that they may hatch into dragons, strong and wise. both strangers here. The Maruk, too, have been plagued by these primalists. If Onora wills it, I will blow the horn of Dressal on the morrow to signal our accord with the Green Dragon Flight. Marithra, daughter of Ysera, is grateful for your... Grateful? Ha! Dragons only respect dragons! No Maruk blood will be spilled for them! You are not the Kanematra, Balakar. A true leader would never surrender this land to outsiders! You desecrate the memory of Maruk Thousand Bones, Serest. Stand down! No. These plains belong to the Maruk! And Marukai belongs to the Nakud! for a mystic of the Maruk. Oh, Nara! I am sorry. Pathetic. will fall! See those stone pillars? They are part of a barrier that keeps anyone from approaching. We must protect them, or the island's defenses will fall. Do you see? Those pylons empower Coralette's destructive power. If we cannot stop her, she will destroy the pillar, and the ward that protects the ancient bow will fall. I, the Kanamatra Serist, accept this gift to honor the ancient oath made by our most sacred ancestor. All centaur under Onara's wings will aid the green dragonflight in times of need. And I, Marithra, daughter of Isera, 
Accept this gift to honor my oath to your ancestor Tira. Together, dragons and centaur will protect the Onaran Plains. Should the dream be threatened again, know that the Maruk will fight beside you. The bond that united us in ages past has been renewed. Let this oath stone serve as a symbol of our covenant. I vow to protect the Emerald Dream and the Green Dragonflight with my life. Well struck. I did not believe you would come. Honor is of great importance to my people. Yes, as it is to mine. Come, let us gather our dead. I was expecting Malagos. Where is he? And who are you? Caligos. And you... You cannot possibly be... Sindragosa? In a way... A simulacrum. Created by her in order to preserve her memories and knowledge. It would seem a great deal of time has passed since she left. Yes. And much has happened. I sense... an aspect. It's a long story. Both you and Malagos are gone. I see. And the rest of our flight? Where are they? After Neltharion betrayed us, we were on the verge of extinction. We few who remain are scattered, aimless, and alone. Yet you came here. That tells me that you still have hope for our kin. Child of my flight, shall we work together? To make that hope a reality? Nothing would give me more pleasure. What must we do? You treasured us all. May the seas find you as worthy as we do.
Look! Himself has chosen Pinolia. What a life! I, I, forgive me. I don't understand. How can you find such joy in the passing of family? It is not that we are not sad for his passing, Kalik, but in celebrating his life, he shall remain with us forever. What better way to strengthen the bonds of the family that remains than celebrating all who came before? I hope that worked. I need my flight. We will see in due time. What's happened? The Primalists are on the move. It seems we did far too well at stymieing their efforts at Vakthros. Razageth has renewed the attack herself. If Vakthros falls, the whole of the Azure Spam will fall with it. Quickly then, we must stop her before all is lost. Hopefully, we won't have to face her alone. Child of my flight, what is your oath? We've been scattered for far too long, isolated. But a dragon flight is more than an oath we make. We are a family. And it's time I brought my family home. I do believe you are ready, Caligos. We secured the Azure Archives, but Razageth's storm remains enveloped around Vakthros Tower. She seeks to free her kin, but their prison does not lie within the Azure Span. What else could she be after? My vision remains clouded. The Primalists could already be moving in our midst. And I fear I would not see it. The city must be protected. Veldraken is our people's home. If the Primalists are here, 
We must find them and flush them out. They cannot be allowed to infiltrate our seat of power. As expected, Aranog. I am not concerned. Dead soldiers cannot get in your way. Mm, I see you have unearthed the Flamestone. I can sense its strength. It is now time for your end of this bargain. from the leash of the aspects. <laughs> then go while I turn this wretched titan-stained place into ashes! Oh dear, it backfired. Uh, uh, brace yourself. After years of imprisonment within the Emerald Nightmare, Arc-Druid Malfurion Stormrage has finally returned to the mortal world. Reunited with his love, Tyranda Whisperwind, Malfurion endeavors now to heal the corrupted world tree Teldrassil and rejuvenate the spirit of the Night Elf people. Yet as the great cataclysm shakes the boughs of their colossal tree, the Night Elves brace themselves against the coming storm. As war and destruction close in from all sides, it falls to night elves like you to stand strong and protect the enduring legacy of your people. Ah, oh, there you are. This happens sometimes. We must return to the present, however. Really, we must be going. We are going back. Okay, everyone. Get ready! vision came too late. They have punched a tunnel through time and are tumbling endlessly amongst the infinite possibilities. You must find them and correct their course before the entire fabric of reality is torn asunder. Azeroth, though an exceptionally long time ago. We should find Chromie and get out of here. This place is scary. Almost done! We'll be back soon! Brace yourselves!
want to go so far into the past again. But I'm glad I had some help getting back. You have aided Krononu. For that, I am grateful and will spare you. But leave. Quickly. We will bring you to your ultimate fate. You cannot deny what is to come. When we meet again, do not expect clemency for what has transpired. My fate is inevitable. What do you mean? Each day that passes, the future flows into the present, which blurs into the past. Soon, it will merge into one, and that is when I will become my darkest self, Murazond. And when that day comes to pass, I look to you to do what must be done. Yes, Timeless One. I will do exactly what you need me to. I will find another way. There is none. Time encompasses all possibilities. You taught me that. I will search every timeline, every moment, until I find a solution to save you. <sighs> Chronormo. In all timelines, please know, I am, and always have been, proud of you. I owe you my thanks. You have helped the Dragonflights remember our calling. With the Oath Stones renewed, we can finally reclaim our Aspectral power. This has to work. Nothing? But the Oath Stones were renewed. How is this possible? <laughs> it seems your titans have abandoned you. Razagav! What have you done? You proved yourself unworthy. All on your own. Queen of the Dragons. Now, it is our time. Release them. No! It is done. We stopped her. No! Damage is too great. They're about to... Sister... What have they done to you? Her death demands vengeance. All who betrayed dragon Titans will face our world. Cadgar, we cannot win this fight. We have to get out of here. My friends, we sensed a great upheaval beneath the earth and feared the worst. We barely survived. Razageth is dead, but... Her kin have been freed. 
Oh. Nazdormu? What is it? The timeways. They are chaotic, but still obscured. A dark future looms on the horizon. We haven't long to prepare for their onslaught. Razageth's reckless haste cost her life, and they will not make that mistake again. They will regain their strength and choose their next moment carefully. Then we must take the fight to them. Strike before they are recovered. That will be difficult. Eridacron's mastery of the Earth will harbor them and keep them out of our reach. What is it about this Eridacron that vexes you so? Of the three that remain, Viranoth and Farak were ever loyal to the Incarnate's ideals. But it was Eridacron who truly embraced the war. The last captured, and the most difficult to contain. At the end, he struck terrible bargains to keep their cause alive. His violent desperation makes him dangerous. I believe the other incarnates never knew the true depths of his depravity. We must not despair. Their war is coming. And while we may not yet have our spectral powers, we can rebuild our unity. Heal the wounded flights. Embrace our allies. Only together do we stand any chance of victory. <laughs> Together. Together. Trusting their fate, their hopes, to us. Are we certain it will be safe? Come. Here, by Elune's grace, this gift will be kept hidden from those who would wish it harm. Yet the time will come when it must leave the cradle of the dream and take its place in our world. And when it does, its protection will fall to us. My beloved Kaldorai, all you have suffered, all you have given, will not be in vain. This I swear to you. What is it, my love? Just a feeling that this time will 
be different. Sarah, your flight needs you. We need you. Whatever the price may be for your return to Azeroth, name it. Tyrande. Tell us. It's me. I must be the one to stay. What? Isera knows this, though she would never ask it of me. No. We will find another way. When she gave her life for mine in Balshara, it was not her time. And now, the balance may be restored. Then, then I will stay as well. Chandras and the others can... Tyrande. Should everything we hope come to pass, the Kaldorai will need you. I am so tired, Malfurion. Do not ask this of me. After everything we have endured. My love, you have always been the strength of our people. They will follow you ever onward, and you will never be alone. Until I see you again, I will dream of the night we may truly rest together. Somnicus, return to the gardens and inform my daughter. Once I have reached the dream there, we will open the way for the others. I will await your return. Then Rymek will pay for what he's done. My queen, the Emerald Dream and its ancient groves are under attack, and I must go to defend them. In my place, Malfurion Stormrage will stay and fulfill the bond that you used to save me. Will you accept me in exchange? Then your pledge is made. Go with the blessings of the wild. The cycle is renewed. Death and life in harmony once more. Trespassing Shakar territory! Explain what you are doing here. Can we 
we get on with it? You said we'd find it here. We have. From what I have transcribed, Naltharion had a hidden path to Avarice, just below this ridge. Sealed beneath earth and water, undisturbed for thousands of years. Then let us open the way. speaks highly of you. Not something he does often. He and the others are looking for answers. A reason for... all of this. After everything that's happened, everything we've been through, I'm beginning to wonder if... <sighs> what I'm looking for isn't here. Amberthal! Oh, no. No. Be gone. The Reach belongs to the Sundered Flame. Sarkareth! <sighs> Deimos. I'm so sorry. If you were to follow him, what would you do? Extinguish my enemy. As I was trained to. Hmm. By Notharian. But this time, the enemy is one of your own. As are the Drakthir that follow him. Soldiers who, like you, were conditioned to claim victory at any cost. How dare you presume to know us? You, who hid among mortals while other dragons fought and died to protect our world. You're right. I was content to be simply Ebonhorn and High Mountain was my home. <sighs> I should have done more. Why didn't you? <sighs> because I too am Neltharion's offspring. And it brought me only shame. I came here to face that. And found you. <sighs> You must be disappointed. <laughs> no. Just now, you defied his voice inside you. Chose compassion over violence. Our family does not have to live in his shadow. Family. When I awoke, they were gone. All of them. For the first time, I was alone. And it terrified me. And when Sarkareth killed the others, I... Emberthal. He will face justice for what he has done. Will you help me, Abyssian? We will help each other. 
Did you hear that? A voice. Rathian, pay attention! Yes, of course. These primalists do not stand a chance. Oh, I've got muck in my boots. Disgusting. <laughs> I must admit, Rathian, you acquitted yourself well in the fight. Well, uh, thank you, Sibelian. Once we have dealt with this flame incarnate, I will be sure to find a place for you. Among my troops. Your troops? Sepelliot! No! Oathbinder is mine! Is this why you came here? To enslave us again with Neltharion's devices? That's how you would create unity? What have you done? Our father calls to us, Emberthor. Can you not hear Neltharion drawing us to Avarice? Telling us to take what is ours? You are not well, Sakareth. Come with me. Perhaps Abyssian can... No! I will claim the legacy we were promised! Vox, initiate transport! Coordinates confirmed. Initiating transport. Sokka, wait! He's gone. I... have accomplished nothing. This is not over yet. Do you know where he has gone? Abyssian... He said he's hearing Neltharion's voice. He's going to Abaris. Whispers in the dark. This may be worse than I had imagined. But at least the Drakthir here are no longer under his control. Ah, my good friends. What treasures have you brought me? Ignore him. He has no claim to my father's possessions. Is that truly the matter at hand? Who is the rightful heir to a legacy of deceit, control, and fear? So you did find something. We did. And I destroyed it. You had no right. I had every right. So long as that device existed, my people would never be free. What has she done? While you two bicker like petulant whelps, she did what was right for her people. Let go of the past. Your flight needs you here and now. Those massive Jaradin. They are beyond anything we encountered in the Waking Shores. Those are Jaredin Elders. Not just Dragon Slayers, but Slayers of entire bloodlines. Look there. That one appears to still be slumbering. And the Primalists are awakening her. We must stop them, quickly. <sighs> Wait. Do you sense it? That flame infusing the lava. Is it? Shadow Flame. The poison that drove Neltharion to madness. We must end this. The corruption cannot be allowed to spread. What is that? There, in the caldera. Farak. He is consuming Shadow Flame. I smell the blood of dragons! Be gone, worms! Sabellion is wounded. Champion, we must flee! <laughs> Fly away, little dragons! I will master what your flight could not control. This power is now mine! Rise!
rise up from your subjugation, elders of Ajaradin! We cannot hold here. Elder Ikira, do not let that child of Milfarian escape. Zakali, Onward! Purge this cavern! And then, the Dragon Isles! Loam. The situation is dire, Queen Alexstrasza. We pursued Farak to a great cauldron below, a font of elemental fire. He consumed the energies within and emerged, wreathed in shadow flame. Shadow flame? We cannot risk losing you to its corruption. The other flights will hunt Farak and work to stop the sundered flame. You cannot return to Zaralek. Respectfully, Lifebinder, it was Deathwing who fell to that corruption. I believe that we have the strength to resist what lies below. All of you? This is our battle to fight. The world must be shown that the Black Dragonflight can bear its responsibilities. Very well. When you are ready, return to Zaralek. May the true spirit of the Earth Warder guide you. Let it go, Sakareth. There is no victory beyond that threshold. Only ruin. No. You will not stop me! Aberus is mine! I will heed his call! Then you have made your choice. We cannot let that zealot take control of the lab. What are you looking at me for? Let's go! You will not pursue him. I know he will face justice, but he is lost. And I grow weary of fighting my own kin. But you... Those two must face this without me. I hope, in their pursuit, they will finally see that Neltharion's legacy is death and nothing more. Then let us find the Drakthir, who have not yet succumbed to that fate. Lead the way, Emberthal. Soldier father, did I not uphold your legacy? Was it all just an illusion? Empty promises leading us only to oblivion. <sighs> May his name be ever remembered. After what he has done, why treat him with such respect? He was Drakthir, and his memory will be a lesson. Instead of helping our people heal, he led many to despair and ruin, chasing the illusion of Neltharion's power. If only Sakareth had taken Deathwing's tragedy to heart, 
and understood that his legacy was poisoned long ago. It is time for the Drakthir to make our own path. Where do you hope it will lead? Far from the shadows of the past that have haunted us, and free to build a legacy of our own. To a future you inspired me to believe in, Abyssian. Even the most painful moments have something to teach us. Notharian was my teacher, my father, and my commander. I aspired to lead the flight as he would have, unable, or perhaps unwilling, to acknowledge the true malignancy of his vision. I never knew Notharian. Only Deathwing, invading my nightmares, reveling in the certainty that I would become as twisted as he was. That is not who you are, my brother. <laughs> I thought my destiny was to guide our flight to its future. And I shall, but simply as myself, not as an aspect. Nor shall I seek that mantle. It would seem your days of hiding are over for good. I am humbled. May your trust and faith in me guide my every step. For today, we emerge from all the shadows that sought to sow doubt and shame within us. The Black Dragonflight's legacy is ours to create. Through great heroism and resilience, the threat of Aberus has been quelled. The Incarnate sought to use our fallen brother's memory as a weapon to divide us, turn us against each other, and weaken our resolve. They failed. Confronting these shadows has only made us stronger. Look upon us now. For the first time in an age, Five aspects will take up our ancient charge once more and stand beside the mortal champions who have aided us at every turn. For soon, Azeroth will welcome from the dream, a symbol of hope, and together, we shall protect it. Aspect of the blue dragonflight. I remember you. I am so sorry, Caligos. My burden should not be yours to bear. You did not leave a burden. You left a brilliant legacy. One I 
and our flight will carry onward. It seems they are in good hands. Together. Always. You have come so far, my child. My work is done. For now. Thank you, Caligos. Lead them well. Thank you, my lady. For everything. Grandfather? Ah, no tears, my dear. A life as full as mine should be celebrated, not mourned. It is up to you to lead the Azure Wing now. You cannot go. I am not ready. <laughs> we rarely are, my dear Starlight. Carry my lessons close to your heart. And I will never be far from you. <laughs> you are broken, Tyr. You have failed, and your Vrykul will perish. Corruption will claim you all. Even your precious aspects. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you will be proved right that mortals are weak and destined to fall into darkness. Yet the courage of the aspects and the promise of the mortals fills me with hope. Hope that they will carry on the Titan's legacy. So, if by the destruction of this body, you are purged from this world, so be it. What are you doing? Elisand, please. We need that disc to restore the memories of our friend, Keeper Tyr. His mind holds many secrets that could aid my cause. I know you want what's best for your people. But the world needs Tyr's compassion and valor once again. So be it. I have gleaned the knowledge I need to depart this time way and keep Suramar safe. The disc is yours. Was dormant. 
welcome back, old friend. I hid it in a corner of every timeline, so that I would always remember those words. Even after I... My friend, do the clouds still accost your mind? Something much more terrifying. A moment of clarity. I have lived a million lives and witnessed their endless unfolding threats. Was it a vision? A memory or a dream? Is there any difference? Nazdormo. What? Did you see? My hour grows late. Those who broke their oaths to the timeways, the infinites, have struck a bargain. I do not know what Iridicron has promised them, and yet... We have defeated each of them before. Yes, but together... The infinite horizon is all but inevitable. And once I become what they desperately want me to be, the darkest version of myself, the future will be lost. And so will I. I am not giving up on you, my friend. We are not giving up on you. Here goes nothing! Yes! We did it! No? No Stormo? Won't give up on you. We did it! Our future is secured! Tell me, little one, have you ever questioned why the Titans preserve this timeline? The Titans safeguard our world from monsters like you! Your faith means nothing to them. As you burn in the flames of my brother's wrath, they will not come. All they wanted was our world. With this, the Harbinger will pry it from their grasp. And when the Titans come to reclaim their prize, I will be Thank you, Champion. Without you and Kronormu's bravery, I could not imagine what would have... No Stormo? No Stormo! <gasps> Everything's back how it was. Not everything. The clouds in my vision have parted and I can breathe without doubt or despair. I feel alive again, thanks to you. But what of Eridicron? While we stopped the Infinites, Eridicron escaped through a kind of void tear, taking Galacron's essence with him. A void gate? His dark dealings have come to fruition. Feels like he's leaving this war to his kin. His hatred for the Titans is all he cares about. Nuzdormu, can you perceive where he has gone? He has passed beyond my sight. All I see now are burning embers 
encroaching upon you. Marithra must be warned. If Farrakh leads their forces now, he will be vicious and strike where we are most vulnerable. The World Tree. Yes. As dangerous as he is. For now, we must leave Eridacron to his schemes and steal ourselves for whatever Farrakh and Viranov are preparing to unleash. The defense of Amirdrasil comes first. No matter what lies ahead, you were right, Phenormal. The future is worth fighting for. After you forced us into slumber in that titan prison, you came to me. You heard me? Every word. You said it doesn't feel like a victory. Not without you. How could you say that? After everything, you were my dearest friend. And losing you to this conflict broke my heart. You promised me you would not force the Titan's will upon us. But the eggs, Alexstrasza. You did nothing while your masters warped our children, still in the shell. That abhorrent act should never have happened. And I regret my part in it every day. Your lies have grown sweeter. Honey to hear. And poison to taste. Viranoth, you have always fought for the good of dragonkind. But Eridacron does not. Vengeance is all he craves. Still so naive. Alexstrasza, believing that the world we once shared still exists, it is gone. And so, yes, all that remains is vengeance. of your kind, your dear mother. But you will have to do. What? What do you want? I know what your flight is hiding. A fledgling world tree, locked away in your emerald dream. And you are going to take me there. I will never betray my kin. Let me be clear. I will kill every dragon who stands between me and the power in that great tree's heart. You can save them. Just let me in. Calm yourself, brother. We are meant to break the Titan's iron grip on this world, not steal their children's future as they did ours. I was just offering this whelp a chance to serve our cause and spare his people a gruesome yet delightful massacre. Yeah. <laughs> Farrakh! <laughs> Farrakh! Brother! 
remember what we are fighting for. <laughs> so be it. I'll find another way into their precious dream. And then, the power that grows within... ...will be ours. Thank you. into the heart of their precious world tree. Eridicron entrusted us to deny the aspects their prize, not twist it into some vile abomination. Eridicron isn't here anymore. Besides, he is the one who set me free, who begged me to drink deep of the Shadow Flame. He knew what was necessary to win this war. We took up arms together to free the world from the Titans meddling. That is the war I fight. That is the victory I seek. We cannot achieve victory with our hands bound by your ideals! Indeed, then our course is set. I will find Alexstrasza. You will not stop me. Be gone, Incarnate! You are not welcome in our city! I must speak with Alexstrasza. Out of my way, all of you. I will speak! with your Dragon Queen. Then speak. No doubt you are aware of what my brother is after. Every gateway to the Emerald Dream has been secured, and is well defended. It is not a gate he seeks. With the Druids of the Flame at his side, Farak will tear his way into that realm and march his forces upon the World Tree. His forces? They will fail. This World Tree will not be burned. Burn it? He comes to claim it. To twist its pure heart into a mirror of what his own has become. Cruel, blazing with insatiable malice, and wreathed in shadow. I cannot stand with him. He is my brother no more. Fear enough. Do what you will with this knowledge. Farewell, Alexstrasza. Stand with us. <sighs> Why would I do that? Because you are a protector of this world. And you do not want to see it burn. Please, hear me now. I failed you before. I failed our people. Yes, you did. I will not fail them again. Stand with us, Viranoth, for all Dragonkind. could control me. This rage inside my heart. My sister believed she could tame me. My 
fury will not be sated. The Aspects believed they could imprison me. But my hatred cannot be contained. They know what is coming. The unyielding flame draws closer, ever closer. Even now, they cling to one another in the dark, lost in their dream. Deceived by those who squandered Until the tree crosses over into our world, we must defend this symbol of hope from... No! We must save them! Treacherous queen would be a glorious battle. But the plan, Verak. Remember your brilliant plan to humble, humiliate, and break them? Open the way to the temple. Then the tree will be yours. Die! Yes! And once I take what is mine, my foes will perish in flames! Behold, I bless you with the embers of Ragnaros. We must ensure Farak makes way for the new Fire Lord. A crown of flame will reign over Azeroth. You all have seen the destruction caused by Tyrande. She refused to join us in the restoration of our people's immortality. These lies poison my people against me. She would bring a tree of death into the world, condemning the Kaldori to the Shadowlands. Traitors! Apostates! This madness ends here! We waste precious time. Dreamrender could cleave this barrier in an instant. Is this simple task too much for you? 
Once the wellspring is filled with flames, my flames, it will set the entire realm ablaze. Then, through that tree, all Azeroth will burn! Yet you would have me squander my power to make up for your failures! I-I only thought... Forgive me. We will bring this barrier down. No. You will not. Begins. A Myrdrasil draws power from the wellspring. It is weakening the barrier. Farak will break through before the bloom is complete. We have not the strength to face Farak alone. And our allies are unable to enter the dream. Something blocks their path. We cannot wait for reinforcements. For rock must be stopped, no matter the cost. Cowardly beasts! Cry! Obey your master! Stand down, Galot. We have won. Not while I yet live. Suffer your evil no longer! The Jordan will be your doom! We are constant as the Be gone! <laughs> Trust the weapons I supplied you were effective? <laughs> Good. Now go. Take the eye. But bring me any prisoners you capture. Verak may want them for more testing. <laughs> it will be done. Never be yours. Your obsession will destroy you. Oh, this is your end, Alexstrasza. The Dragon Queen dies alone. I am not alone. <laughs> Do you not see? All of Azeroth stands united against you. It is time to end this! 
You will all fly together! Defenders of the dream! Do not let him escape. Amirdrasil will fall to flame! has left the dream, and while the Aspects once gave their blessing to the World Trees, this time... Azeroth blessed us. I felt her presence. It was beautiful. Ah, now I understand. I thought to survive, we needed to reclaim our Aspectral power. But they were never ours to take. It was about coming together, as a family. And so we did. Perhaps, as we were always meant to. All of us. When the Titans granted us power, it divided Dragonkind. But in uniting for a cause greater than ourselves, Azeroth's gift has made us, at last, truly whole. We will use these lessons, old and new, to protect our world as her aspect. With the aid of those gathered here, a Mirdrasil blossoms all around us. Do you remember when you first held its seed in your arms, Tyrande? Of course. I cradled it as I would a child, and promised the souls within 
to honor their sacrifice. And I swore to you, I would do everything in my power to protect it. We have both kept our vows. It is time I return to Ardenweald to restore the balance and repay a debt to an old friend. Mother, I thought you came back to ensure that I would... My precious child, you are strong, compassionate, and wise. And you have become the leader I knew you would. You did not need me to guide you. Mother, I will always need you. I shall not be far. I am so, so proud of you, my heart. Remember, all time is borrowed, and in this, there is beauty. All is well. Children of the stars, it has been a long journey to this moment. Our people have fought, suffered, and sacrificed so much. And yet here, in the shade of Amidrasil's young boughs, we may at last begin to heal. Unto the souls who now watch over this sacred place, we offer our blessings. Symbols of dedication, strength, and love. Unto this Moonwell, we offer this precious vial, the last water saved from the Temple of Darnassus. May they bathe Amirdrasil in Elune's radiance and bestow her blessings upon this place, Bel Ahmed, the arms of the goddess. In her embrace, may the Kaldorai finally know peace. Elune Adore. received a missive from Eridacron. He wished to speak with me, and me alone. I am here. It seems your courage has not faltered, despite abandoning our war. That war is over, Eridacron! It was you who abandoned our cause, who abandoned Farak to his own destruction. All for some trinket Neltharion left behind. The Dark Heart is no mere trinket. Its power now lies in the Harbinger's hands. The Void cannot be trusted. I trust its hunger. You know the Titans infected our world. And I will see them extinguished. The question is, sister, will you? I will have no part of this. Hmm. Then the bond of the Incarnates is truly ended. See me again until the Titans face their reckoning. But to you, Viranath, 
offer one final warning. You're thinking of Liam again, aren't you? <laughs> you always could see right through me. You never really healed after you lost him. After you lost Gilneas. <sighs> Tess... I... I see you, father. Always hiding from your pain. It's why you built that wall in the first place. And why you took Anduin under your wing. But I have always been here. For you. Even if you've never noticed. I know. And... I'm sorry. The world is changing, Tess. And as much as I try, I find it hard to change with it. But you have proven yourself a thousand times over, my girl. And this kingdom now belongs to you. Father, I... I... You have always been what makes Gilneas truly special to me. And I should have told you that every day. I wish I could take your pain away. Only time will do that, my dear. But we have time now. Thanks to you. My friend. We have asked you here this day to offer our thanks. When we dragons returned to our homeland, we were a kingdom divided. Old wounds and bitter memories had fractured our unity. But thanks to you and all those who stood with us, we have found our way to a better future. We realized that the mistakes of our past need not define us. That we should not fear the unknown. That we could embrace our family while building a new legacy for our flights. A legacy that includes all dragon kind. In recognition of everything you have done, we proclaim you champion of the dragonflies. Such beauty, such tranquility. More Kaldori settle here every day. After so many years of strife, Belameth offers rest and comfort. This village welcomes all who wish to dwell here, but it shall not be our only home. Hyjal, Valshara, Ashenvale, these are sacred places to us. We shall protect them forevermore. And one day, when life blossoms again upon its ashen shores, we will return to Teldrassil and build anew.
I have chosen to step down from the Council of Six. My duties as Aspect must take precedence. I'm needed in Valdraken far more than in Dalaran. Is that all? Forgive me, but that hardly comes as a surprise. I suspected as much when you asked to speak with me. So, you do not think ill of me for relinquishing my position? Perish the thought. Your family comes first, Kallik. I could never fault you for that. Though, I do have a request to make of you. The artifact a Rivikron took from the Forbidden Reach. The one he handed over to this mysterious harbinger. Dalaran's libraries hold precious little information on it. Given Malagos's history with Neltharion, you hope that I might have better luck scouring the Azure Archives. Consider it done, old friend. I will share all the information I can find. Thank you, Kallik. <laughs> Strange, isn't it? The Kirin Tor and the aspect of magic working hand in hand. It's a new age, one we will face together. Us, the Council, and whoever replaces me. Rest assured we will fill your vacant seat. But no one could ever replace you. Farewell for now, Caligos. Be it here, Dalaran, or Karazhan. I look forward to our next reunion. Rathian, Abyssian mentioned that you will soon depart from the Isles. I didn't take you as one who engaged in gossip, Sibelian. Hmm. <laughs> does he speak true? He does. Eridicron may be lying low, but he still poses a significant threat to Azeroth. I will coordinate the Black Talon's efforts to track him down. Even Eridicron can't evade them forever. Indeed. I must admit, your agents have impressed me far more than I expected. With rare exception, I never placed much stock in mortals beforehand. You... have quite the way with their kind. I suppose I do. And feared that I belong among neither. I thought that here, in the land of my ancestors, I'd find... something I was lacking. That by becoming an aspect, I could... prove who and what I truly am. If not to the world, then at least to myself. But I see now that I never had anything to prove. My place is among both mortals and dragons. That is my strength, not my failing. It's who I am, who I've always been. Well said. You walk a path I never could, Rathian. Take pride in it. And should that path lead you back to the Dragon Isles, I hope it does feel like a homecoming. <laughs> we shall see. Thank you, brother. I think we will tarry here in Belanath a while. I believe we have earned some time alone together. That we have, my love. But our people need... They have all they need in you, child. You have grown into a wise leader, Chandras. Within you beats the heart of the Kaldorai people. Thank you for your faith in me, for everything. Now come. I want to show you a spot that would be perfect for our home. I do hope there is room for a garden. Well, old friend, it felt good to share a cause and fight side by side once more. <laughs> Yes, it did. Like on Mount Hyjal, all those years ago. But thank the light, this world tree did not fall. Jaina, when a Mirdrasil took root on Azeroth, for a moment it was as if... like there was... A voice? I heard it too. Oh, good. I didn't imagine it. So beautiful. Like a song. It seemed to be calling out to me. Could it be the voice of the world tree? I don't think so. It sounded far more ancient. I'm not sure how I know that. It's just a feeling. 
If we both heard it, felt it, maybe others did too. Perhaps. But let's leave that investigation for another day. Tonight, we celebrate our victory. All of us. Together. Together. Hello, champion. I trust you are enjoying this well-deserved moment of celebration. It was heartening to see members of the Alliance and Horde fighting side by side for a shared cause. After the dark days of the Fourth War, I feared it would never happen again. Yet even as we relish the victory over Ferak and welcome the birth of a new world tree, members of the Kirin Tor have brought me troubling reports. Something is moving in the shadows. An ancient enemy stirs, incited by some harbinger with whom a Ritokran has dark dealings. How these forces are connected, and what they're after, I cannot say. But I've spoken with an old friend who's going to investigate. If what I suspect is truly coming to pass, Azeroth will soon need you to defend her once again. <sighs> Enough of my rumination. Please, return to the gathering. And let Kalagos know he doesn't need to worry about me. Jaina. Kalik! I'm sorry I haven't reached out sooner. Not to worry. You've been more than a little busy. Reuniting your family and serving Kul Tiras as Lord Admiral. What about you? You have your aspectral powers again. And you brought the Blues home, Kalik. I know how much that meant to you. I think we both needed to make a journey. Just not together. And that's all right. <laughs> it is. Do you have some time? I'd like you to meet some friends of mine. But I must warn you, they'll probably insist that you try their soup. And they like to use eel guts. I'm called Tyrin, remember? I grew up on eel liver soup. It sounds wonderful. <laughs> Do you ever think back to the time before the Sundering, Alexstrasza? When the world was whole? But we faltered from within. The world itself was rent asunder. Through thousands of years and unspeakable tragedies, the Well of Eternity, the Legion at Nordrasil. Yet this precious tree, a Mirdrasil, has brought us together. And when I look upon the faces of those who have risen to its aid, both old and new, I see something returning that we had lost. Unity. Though there is much work to be done, I know we have the strength to face anything if we face it together. The world I have returned to bears little resemblance to the one I left, Koronos. Empires have risen and fallen. The old gods are no more. The Dragon Isles have slumbered and awakened. Old friends have died, some of them ignobly, and the ones who remain do not seem to have need of me. Even the Aspects regained their powers without my aid, or the Titan's intervention. Our circumstances are similar, Keeper Tear. We were made to serve. I too have fulfilled my purpose, but this new world is vast and wondrous. Perhaps it will be enough for us to just observe and help safeguard it. Hmm. I have much to ponder. Certain it was him. My agents in Ratchet confirmed it. He was seen buying supplies. Why Kalimdor? 
Why wouldn't he return home to Stormwind? I don't know, but he was traveling south. Must have noticed my people on his tail. He lost them in the Barrens. South? What could he be after? Send word to Jaina. She'll want to know where he's headed. You don't want to go after him yourself? If he's staying away, he must have his reasons. We need to trust him. Should I inform Lord Commander Turalyon? No. Not until we know more. Let's keep this quiet, Spymaster. It will be done, King Raymain. You're here to tell me we don't get to hide. Is that it? You needed time. We stayed away. But time by itself heals nothing. You didn't just come here for me. It's the visions. You've seen them. I suspect many have, lately. Something, someone, is calling out from the heart of the world. Like a voice from a dream. <laughs> Something dark is coming, Anduin. The world needs your light again. My son. I am not that person anymore! I have no light. Not after what I've seen. Not after what I've done. You are not your past, Anduin. I trust you. They're getting worse. Look, whatever's coming, I'll stand with you. Of course I will. But we were drawn here by the voice. Who is it, Thrall? Who's calling out to us? I'm not sure yet. But that sword was aimed at someone.
You not only helped us reclaim our home after the plague, but you defended it when it was under threat. You represent what it means to be forsaken, to take care of our own with our unique ingredients. Our strength. Our determination. Our cunning. Our hope. And together, we will endure as the Forsaken. Greetings, my most loyal ally. I speak to you now from beyond the Veil of Death. Here, in this place of eternal darkness. My work, my penance, continues. Though the Maw is an unlikely place for one to find peace, each soul I rescue helps mine feel a little more... whole. As I ponder my deeds since being raised into undeath, I have many regrets. Things said and choices made that I wish could be taken back. But there is one thing for which I will always be proud. Helping the Forsaken find their place in a world that shunned them. My time to lead may be over, but I will always stand with you against those who would cast you out and call you monsters. Under the leadership of the Desolate Council, a new group of voices has arisen to represent all Forsaken. Stand proud in the Horde. Know that all of you were so much more than arrows in my quiver. As much as the family I was born into, you will always be my people. And one day, I do hope to walk among you once again. I must go. There are many more souls yet to be freed. Among them, one that is most dear to me. Shorella Ran, my friend. I apologize if this is a bit of a surprise to you. To most, she was last known to have fallen in the dead mines. But I'm not quite so easy to kill. Wonderful to see you again, so-called hero. Vanessa. A few years after the Third War, Marshal Reginald Windsor suspected there was evil in Stormwind. Where others saw chaos, he saw treachery in the corrupt dealings of the nobles and the rise of the Defias Brotherhood. Through perseverance, he discovered a grand conspiracy leading to the hallowed halls of Stormwind Keep itself. That day, he confronted the most powerful noble in Stormwind, Lady Katrana Prestor. With her lies exposed, she burst forth, revealing her true form. Onyxia, daughter of Deathwing. Windsor laid down his life to free Stormwind, shattering Onyxia's hold on the city. After she fled, we discovered the cursed amulet she had used to control and persuade so many. Concerns arose that Onyxia's power may still linger within, and so it was locked away and forgotten. Until now. Vanessa, I've been wanting to tell you. I knew your father. Long, long ago, as children. We were friends, even. I know. He spoke of you. You didn't join his cause, so he hated you. Edwin was always a fierce man. But he wasn't always such an angry man. He could be kind, and often remarkably generous. I hope, in the time that you had with him, that kindness still shone through. 
Growing up, I always thought if I was just good enough, just strong enough, I could earn that kindness. When he was killed, when you ordered him killed, I lost the chance to ever see that side of him. To prove myself to him. It is never up to a child to earn their parents' kindness. You don't have anything to prove to anyone, Vanessa. No! I cannot fall! Onyxia promised more! More! Something isn't right. Vanessa. Noticed my little sleight of hand, did you? No way I'm leaving something like this for Stormwind. The Drakefire amulet is mine now. I don't think so, Van Cleef. Hand it over. It's Onyxia. Her will lingers over that amulet, over all of us. Some long-dead dragon thinks she can manipulate me? I don't think so. I've had enough of this worthless trinket! No! Power! Consume all! Take it all! Your power is gone, and your legacy is broken, Snake. Is this what it's always going to be for our people? To be manipulated by great unknown powers time and time again? And to overcome them time and time again. Yes. But he chose to walk a path of evil. His death was his own doing. And I have no desire to carry on his legacy. A father's legacy. Maybe I too should find my own path. Not my father's. SI-7 could always use a key. In your dreams, Shaw. In the past, I got caught up in the desire for vengeance. But I always wanted to help the people of Westfall. Perhaps it is time Hope Saldean passed out bowls of soup again. If you don't mind, I think I would like to join you for that. Bear witness today to the deeds of this champion who has stood valiantly against the many foes that would threaten our fair city. For their courage, we honor our champion as Lion Guard, defender of Stormwind and all her people. Rise, and light bless you, Lion of Stormwind! Control I could give you. You only have to take it. Lysander, now! To the portal! Quickly! Uh. Lysander, are you... Look! The moon well! It is done. When Tyranda decreed that arcane practitioners would return to our numbers, I vehemently protested. You had every right to be wary, Warden. Yet today, I have witnessed who you truly are. A strong, resilient defender of the Kaldori. Should you wish it, your face will bear the mark of Protector. I thought... Men were not permitted such... Even sacred traditions should evolve, as should the Kaldori. Come, Lysander. <laughs> Go on. Let the waters cleanse your spirit as we have cleansed the well. Lotus petals bloom. Granting color to your mark. 
Just as your purpose blooms within you. A needle of Briarthorn to bear the ink to skin. Just as you bear the charge you carry. Bruiseweed, to numb the pain. I do not need it. The world gifts us with means to move beyond this pain. You prove nothing by choosing to dwell in it. I understand, Warden. Maiev. It is done. Rise, Lysander. Mother and father would be proud. As am I. Thank you, Nari. Let's head back to Stormwind. Despite all we have been through, your devotion to your people has never wavered. You carry the honor of the goddess with you. And you should carry the name as well. Amashan. May Illum guide you. And may your path continue to inspire us all. Thank you all for honoring us with your presence here. When our people came to Azeroth from Draenor, ours was not an easy road. And along the way, many of our ancient traditions were lost. But the time has come to remember the rites of old and to build new traditions that honor our proud legacy. This champion is the first to complete the new rite of Amgora. Let their footsteps be followed for generations to come. Loktar! And so, we bring the first Kosharg of Azeroth to an end. May the honored ancestors watch over us all. Until next we meet. Offering is worthy, my friend. You have earned our blessing. May your actions continue to lead the orcs to honor and glory. If you would, tell Etrig he was right. And Thrall, tell him I am heartened to have dragged him out of seclusion. Ah, and you, Durak, son of Thrall. You will find your path in due time, and it will lead you to greatness. Go now with honor. Always. Ha! Only in death would he admit it. Oh, I miss him. <laughs> I am glad you did too, old friend. You can have anything you desire.